Hi, I've got a new album that I just completed, and it's for a baby. That's what I, who I do most of my albums for, but her name is Elia Constance, and she was just born a few days ago. And it's pretty much in my usual album in a day style, using the 6x6 six six papers. But I did vary a little bit in the closure. Oh, there goes my clock. And um, I used a decorative clasp closure, I guess you can see it. I found it at Michael's, and so I liked it, and that's what I'm going to use. Well, we'll listen to the clock for a little bit. But this is the outside. It's all done with the Prima flowers and some Recollection flowers and um, various little stickers and so forth. I did put some lace around the top and this side and also around the back. And this side with another prima flower that attaches the the ribbon um, and then trimming this paper here is some glitter ribbon so um, and then I on the spine of the book I just put a one of those twirly flowers now the paper I used was a really good collection and it was from me and my big ideas. It had, it was one-sided paper, but it did have a large collection. So I was able to get quite a few pages out of this. So I'll open it up. And the hinge system I used was um, the hidden hinge type because it really does hold your book open a lot easier and you're not fighting with the pages quite as much and it's just hidden hinge and there's no um, copyright infringement or anything else it's just the way they show it on YouTube okay and here is um, on the first page and this came with the um, the papers and it was uh, it has a little birth record on there I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, birth record and a little swallow coming in with the baby and tiny and sweet. And then, oh, I love this picture. A little baby sleeping away. And I use my usual pocket, pocket style. Oops, this slipped a little. Where, where one of these little flip things goes in the pocket and it will hold four complete four by six photos and this will too at least so um, in each page you've got one and then plus four so you got five pictures in each page and then on this page I did it just a little bit differently I made a flip top so up on the the top I have a, a picture place and then on the bottom I do and then on the front and then on the other side of the same layout I have my usual picture holders. On this one I just decorated the page with a little cutout of girl and, and a bling. I put a bling and in this one, I did it just a little differently. I had a little cut out, a die cut, and I only glued it on the bottom there. So, and I stuck a little card there, a little postcard type thing that says, first we had each other, then we had you, now we have everything. And so just to show them that they can just stick some things in there if they don't want to glue a picture. And then again, it's the fold out. So we will put that back in there. And then this is magnetic, I think, yes. 
I have a magnetic flip things. I like the magnetics because they're fun. There's that, and there's that. So this one page on this side will hold three pictures. Uh, these are four by fours. Actually, we'll hold um, more than that because we got two sides. And the magnet is somewhere down here. So this flap doesn't have a magnet, but this one does. So it holds the two together. This one is a, just a standard page, and um, it says sugar and spice and everything nice. And there is a little glitter. I don't know if you can tell from here, but there is a little glitter on it, just enough. And it's, it's good glitter. It doesn't flake off on the paper. I, I hate the glitter that leaves your whole house full of glitter. And then this is a popped up picture of a baby girl. And um, it's just a cute page. And then it's the same um, removable folder there. On this one, I kind of like uh, it's just a an outdoor scene actually and this is a little bird that's a chipboard bird and naturally he's flying in the opposite direction and then there's this little scene it's got two little butterflies I added to the trees and a little bunny and then some pretty pink paper on this I just like this one a whole lot and you can stick little small photos there or little mementos whatever and, oh, and my last one is my little signature wa waterfall that, um, one, two, three, has room for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And under there is love that hides my ribbon. And, um... People like those, so I've been including them. And then on the back page, I put a rather large um, envelope, not envelope, I guess, little folder that holds some extra um, picture mats. So this was some leftover paper I had, and I saw no reason to let it go to waste. And so I put the backed them with the craft card stock that I'd used on the book and I put them in here and it has a little thing that says milestones so they may want to jot some notes there or whatever and then on the back as you I saw you I showed you before rather is the ABC so it turned out good I I like the the style there's plenty of room for other stuff to go in there I left it it um, three-eighths of an inch instead of my usual one-fourth of an inch and so it did make it a little wider but it it lets you stick bulkier things in there and more pictures so I think that'll work out just fine for them and I think I have also made another album for this couple previously so now they've got I think two little girls and I hope they like it and I hope you like it too if you want to learn how to make the 6x6 um, six six album, you can go to my videos. I, it's under Judy Goodson. And I'm way down. These would be on my uh, earliest videos, probably on page 3 or something. But I have a series of 7 that shows you step-by-step -step how to make this. So if you're interested, you can use any kind of paper and 6x6 six six pads if you keep it small enough. Alrighty, thank you very much for watching, and I'll probably make another one pretty soon. Thank you.